Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bullish reversal signal what's going on with the stock market trend or let's move to my five rules of risk management please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful now it's a time for trading view looks like stock market let's start from stock market hit map based on the all usa companies market cap and daily performance looks like a lot of green is it bullish reversal it's a bullish trend we will do technical analysis review and we will figure out energy red today energy sector but generally all sectors kind of looks good they all look good let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review if you want to learn more about trading your setup just go to the description there is the link about trading your setup training and other links about all my trainings now let me briefly mention about my setup i'm using simple moving averages white line sma 200 purple line sma 100 blue line sma 50 yellow line sma 20 red line sma 10 green line sma 5 below yellow line rsi line and heikonachi bars that's all very simple it's not easy because emotions involved if you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions like on my chart you see green circle when sma5 did bullish crossover over red it was bullish trend and the red circle when sma5 did bearish crossover over red it was bearish trend as of now last bar below all moving averages it is it is bearish trend right bearish trend still for usa dollar for dxy minus half percent today trend is bearish it should be bullish for equities and setup is bearish you see sma 20 is bearish crossover it is bearish setup now let's move to nasdaq triple q etf daily time frame it did nice bounce was very negative oversold indeed touched sma 200 indeed nice bounce from sma 200 filled one gap today it did create another gap it's like bullish reversal island you see it create gap down and gap up still gap between <laughs> it will be filled someday it did touch sma 20 sma 20 is strong resistance because sma 20 is downtrend direction it could be strong rejection yeah be careful but at the same time sma 5 just did bullish crossover over 10 it is positive it is positive but could be rejection from sma 20. But bullish reversal signal definitely plus two and a half percent today for our time frame bullish crossover sma5 get bullish crossover over 10 20 and even 50 bullish reversal signal it is bullish trend on four hours one hour time frame bullish trend on one hour time frame also yeah, bullish trend and gap yeah it's exactly gap yeah same gap over here and gap over there bullish reversal island bullish trend it, it's it can possible it can move up to 200 it could be rejected from that level but at the same time are in the overbought territory it still continue and can stay in overbought territory for a long time so far it is overbought vxn volatility index for uh nasdaq today it did minus almost seven percent it closed below sma 20. it is bearish trend like i told you it was bullish price action bearish divergence and now it's a bearish trend spx s p 500 plus 1.69 percent daily time frame same way it did gap up and it closed above sma 20 same like use exactly look at it same like use it closed above sma 20. bullish reversal trend or our time frame bullish trend it's close to sma 150 
would be yeah, it fills this gap. That's what we, have, we mentioned before. It, it can fill the gap. The left one gap above on the top. Will it fill it? I don't know. Maybe it will be rejection from a semi 150. Bullish trend, bullish crossover, bullish setup. One hour time frame, bullish trend, similar like use. It's in overbought territory RSI, but it still can continue and go up and touch the semi 200 and can be rejected from a semi 200. There is still small gap. That's what it did this morning. Same small gap down. It's like also bullish reversal gap. Okay, it's overbought also an overbought territory. Bullish trend. Now let's move to VIX. VIX minus 12.5%. Usually when VIX move more than 10%, it's a 85% chance that S&P 500 will go to opposite direction for next two trading sessions. It means tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday, S&P 500 will give us a red day. 85% chance, it's not 100%. And VIX is bearish, right? It is bearish reversal and last bar close below SMA 20, bearish trend. Dow Jones. Dow Jones, nice bounce from the oversold territory, not from the SMA 200, just from the support line. And looks like it wants to fill this gap. As of now, it is still in a bullish reversal signal, still below SMA 20. Not strong like S&P 500 and, and NASDAQ, but it, it is in the bullish reversal signal. Because S&P 500 and Qs closed above SMA 20. Dow didn't close yet. For hours time frame, it's already closed above SMA 20. Bullish trend. Remember the rule, right? Whatever is below SMA 20, it is bearish. Above SMA 20, it is bullish. One hour time frame, bullish crossover, bullish trend. DXY, volatility index for Dow Jones, also did bearish reversal. IWM, Russell 2000 plus 1.5%, 1.65. Daily time frame, it did bounce, fill the gap. Still below SMA 10, even not SMA 20. Very weak. It's no power, no no real buyers. Still dancing between SMA 100 support and SMA 50 resistant. It's not so powerful like uh, Mega 7 stocks. Mega 7 is because of the Tesla, Nvidia. That's why S&P 500 and Q's mode so powerful. Small caps not so powerful. Still bearish trend. RVX volatility index bearish. Last bar below SMA 20 it is bearish reversal trend. Apple, Apple plus 1.72%. It did nice bullish crossover and closed above SMA 20. Straight seven, yeah, seven days, right? Seven days straight green bars. Powerful move for Apple, bullish trend. It has some, yeah, some small gap over here on the top, but the large gaps, it was filled and was cl closed. Bullish trend, bullish crossover, bullish. We'll see. Four hours time frame for Apple, same bullish trend, but last two bars they touched SMA 50 would be strong resistant line. One hour time frame. For the last several hours, it did touch the SMA 200 and looks like SMA 200 strong resistance, especially are assigned over bad territory. Could be rejection from this level. Be careful. Ne Tesla, Tesla plus five and a quarter percent bullish trend, right? Uh, let's start one hour time frame. Bullish crossover, bullish trend, very powerful, nice bullish run. 
four hours time frame similar last two bars they even closed above a semi 20 it is bullish crossover bullish trend daily time frame last bar still below a semi 20 still in a bearish territory still in a bearish location still bearish trend on daily nvidia nvidia more positive because on daily it did close above sma 20. it is more positive more bullish like apple bullish crossover bullish trend or hours time frame same bullish crossover and even it closed above sma 50. bullish trend one hour time frame nice bullish trend it did some gap you know, gap up and uh, almost close to sma 200 and rsi in overbought territory definitely could be rejection from sma 200 as of now today it did bullish <coughs> run six six and a half percent definitely bullish trend Microsoft 1.77 positive today. One hour time frame bullish crossover bullish trend. Four hours time frame also bullish crossover and bullish trend last bar above SMI 20. And daily, daily did SMI 5 bullish crossover over red. Moved from it was below SMI 200, moved above SMI 200. It is positive but still below sma 20. sma 20 could be strong resistant amazon amazon plus two percent today same bounce from the oversold territory and it did touch the sma 200. sma 200 would be strong resistant and still last bar below sma 20 still bearish trend but it can continue bullish to fill this gap. We'll see another gap over here, small gap. Uh, yeah, bullish reversal signal, but not still bearish trend. Four hours time frame, last bar even closed above SMA 20, it's getting positive and bullish. One hour time frame, definitely it is bullish trying to fill this gap bullish trend in one hour for amazon google plus one one and a quarter percent one hour time frame bullish trend four hours time frame last bar stopped at sma 20 could be rejection and daily for google it is still bearish still below sma 20 still bearish trend and meta meta definitely positive plus two and a half percent last bar about all moving averages bullish trend that's what i told you i i i have feeling that it will do all time new high and it will create bearish divergence and will do reversal so far it is bullish very disconnected last bar from the semi 20 bullish trend for hours time frame same bullish trend Last bar about all moving averages and bullish setup as a mate wanted it bullish crossover over 200. And one hour time frame, last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend, RSI detached over bad territory. Bullish trend, meta bullish on all time frames. Let's do summary. USA dollar, DXY still bearish no bullish reversal still bearish trend and bearish setup qs and smp 500 on daily time frame they closed they did nice bounce and they did close above sma 20. it is positive but it's not confirmed because tomorrow it could be rejection especially uh volatility indexes they moved they moved negative like weeks and it could be a negative day next to trading session for equities could be a strong reversal that's why be, be careful dow jones and russell 2000 still 
bearish on daily time frame but on one hour time frame all indexes and equities one hour and four hours time frame all indexes and equities they all bullish and even on one hour time frame like use in in overbought territory s p 500 and overbought territory close to resistance lines could be rejection could be rejection normal rejection ex expected rejection but trend is getting bullish reversal on one hour time frame especially it is positive bullish daily still still questionable that's all let's move to my disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational for, uh, purpose we are using paper trading simulator thank you for watching simple trading style videos i do publish daily weekly monthly updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe to this youtube channel click like button to support this channel i really appreciate all your efforts thank you so much and good luck bye now